Good morning. I hope everybody's doing well today on Saturday, 24 October 2020. If you made it through Friday without a drink, you are a superstar in my book. That is if you're an alcoholic like me. Today's daily reflection by faith and by works. Let's go. And action. On anvils of experience, the structure of our, of our society was hammered out. Thus, has it been with AA, by faith and by works, we have been able to build upon the lessons of an incredible experience. They live today in the 12 traditions of Alcoholics Anonymous, which, God willing, shall sustain us in unity for so long as he may need us. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 131. God has allowed me the right to be wrong in order for our fellowship to exist as it does today. If I place God's will first in my life, it is very likely that AA as I know it today will remain as it is. Well, you can't really skirt the fact that today is about Alcoholics Anonymous as well as, you know, the 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, which is behind me. It's kind of hanging out by Living Sober. You take a peek into those, those materials and those lessons that are inside of the books as well as the, the principles and traditions that are kind of laid out for Alcoholics Anonymous. And if that's not your thing, I mean, it. it it really does apply in other groups of recovery or even other forms of, um, or methods to get sober. So please don't get wrapped around the axle of Alcoholics Anonymous and, you know, the God thing. You know, God is not your thing. That's okay. Not everybody is, is in that religious realm and it's okay to you know, substitute your higher power or what gives you strength for the word God, because it, it all makes sense in the end. So, by faith and by works, you know, there are many things in my life that I can only attribute to the, I guess the gift from my higher power because, you know, I certainly sit here in order to, to deliver these messages today, n not through my own will. I mean, yeah, it is my will to wake up every day and do these, but, you know, if I was steering the ship the way I was steering the ship, it would have already sank. Does that metaphor make any sense to anybody? Because, you know, I was drowning in every poor emotion and every misplaced resentment and every single you know misdeed that i've done in my drinking history that it was impossible to navigate the oceans of the chaos that i created man that's a metaphor and you know on anvils of experience the structure of our society was hammered out it is through those experiences that i'm able to you know, look back in retrospect and with insight to the why of my drinking. And I know today's daily reflection is really about, you know, without, without faith works is, or without works, faith is dead, without all that action. That's what that means. If, if we don't have action through our experience and be guided with it through my higher power, you know, and if you're into, to the God thing through God. Without that, I mean, we, we, I, the alcoholic Wayne, wouldn't be sitting here. And that's really where I'm going with this. God has allowed me the right to be wrong in order for our fellowship to exist as it does today. You know, the, I, I can also put that in terms of Alcoholics Anonymous, yeah. So, founded by Dr. Bob and, and Bill W. If, they weren't able to have the experiences and have the inaccuracies within their lives. 
they wouldn't have been able to share their experience, strength, and hope with each other, right? The same kind of philosophy goes here through the media of, of YouTube. I can do the same thing and, and not in the same, well, yeah, I guess in the same fashion because I'm talking to you the same way that, you know, Bill and Bob talk to other alcoholics and a lot of them on their, their last troubles and their last woes, you know, on hospital beds and so on. And it, if I'm able to do that in the same fashion, because, it, hang on, I'm getting wrapped around my own axle. Where I go with this is that there are many forms of recovery work being done on YouTube. There's Sober James, who is a phenomenal live streamer. And I, I really don't know how he has the stamina, but that he is pretty dope and he's actually really charismatic. Um, so check him out if you get an opportunity. I'm pretty sure that, you know, <laughs> I'm pretty sure he doesn't even know who I am, so that's cool. I mean, it's whatever. But you have Annie Grace who looks at all these different aspects of recovery and all these, she answers a lot of questions actually um, through her episodes which I think is really awesome as well. And where am I going with this? I'm going through, you know, on anvils of experience, the structure of our society was hammered out. Thus has it been with AA, by faith and by works, we have been able to build upon the lessons of an incredible experience. Now I read that again for a reason. Because all of these people, all of them, come from experience. You know, you have the sober journey, you have um, no more wine daff, and I probably always say that wrong. Kevin Barheit, I got it right. Um, Mitchell Coleman, who also does daily reflections, and I like watching his videos because his perspective is, is a little bit different than mine, but it's still his perspective nonetheless. And I think that it's valuable for everyone to get everybody's experience, which is why we do this. It's real easy for me to think that, you know, and I'm gonna kind of ramble on, so if you're still with me, enjoy it. It's real easy to sit and say, I'm sober, that's fantastic, right? And not really think about anybody else because I'm sober, so I'm all right. I apologize for the coffee break. But it's pretty damn early here. All right, so where does this all take me to? You know, they live today in the 12 traditions of Alcoholics Anonymous. Yeah, absolutely. So if you are an aa -er, the 12 Steps and 12 Traditions is really a staple within what we do or rather how we live our lives and the actions that we take and the, the principles that we follow, you know, and it, it's all real fitting because it comes down to, for me, you know, I continue to take personal inventory and when I'm wrong, I promptly admit it. That's step 10. And if you haven't had a chance to check it out, the book of Alcoholics Anonymous is right behind me. And what I do normally on a daily basis is I open up this book, The Daily Reflections, and after I read the first um, stanza, I go 12, 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 131, or Alcoholics, alco the, all that. The Books of alcoholic, Alcoholics Anonymous, page whatever, you know, and I go to those and I, I, I try to understand in different ways than I have before what it actually is trying to say and what that means and the beauty of all of these materials all of them were written by alcoholics weird and many of us were addicts as well so it's not exclusive to um, just being an alcoholic an addict in general can take away from these messages that are here and I, I, I'm pretty certain that I got lost in all that. And yeah, well, I'm an alcoholic, what can I say? So, where am I at? Where am I at with this? God has allowed me the right to be wrong. 
You know, and that's absolutely right. That is right. And I, I have to place my higher power's will for me in his or her hands, depending on how you look at it, and really try to just guide my life through that. And that's what I do. Um, I wake up every single day and I say, thank you for another day of sobriety. You know, shoot me another one if you don't mind, because this is pretty cool. I really enjoy waking up doing these. I really enjoy being a part of your day, even though the, the views are like, super low and I, I think that's because you know maybe it's not interesting for everybody maybe people are better off being in the dark maybe they feel like or maybe you feel like you're an alcoholic because you just clicked on one sober to another I don't know I don't judge you I'm just here to help <sighs> okay last I got an awesome awesome thing of stickers man they're a little bit huge or larger than I thought they would be it's actually right behind me ready voila once over to another that's pretty damn awesome so look I got five of them and today I am going to shoot a video a little bit later and I'm gonna tell you how to get yours what can you do with it I don't know Put it into a frame, put it on your car, if you're brave enough. Um, put it on your window, I don't know. I'm just gonna probably tattoo one of mine to a canvas, frame it, and hang it. That's just how I'm gonna do. So I got five of these, right? And I'm gonna tell you how to get yours if you want it in the video that I shoot this afternoon. You really wanna stick around for that if you're into it because I'm going to tell you about my day at two police stations. Hmm? Sound familiar for anybody? Cool. Stick around, folks. That's today's Daily Reflections for 24 October 2020. Much love. I'm pretty sure I got wrapped around the axle again. That's just what I do. I try to digest and regurgitate what I'm checking out for you. Have a great day, folks. Life's a garden. Dig it. I'll see you in the next one.